How you doing, y'all? I wanted to have a, a serious conversation if I could. I live here, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I work here and got my own business and things like that. And um, and I was driving uh, the other day down Broadway, Broadway and Union. Um, that was the corner I was on. And uh, as I made the left turn onto Broadway, I seen the, a black gentleman walking and he was touching his pants, right? I was the first thing that caught my eye, but he was staring straight ahead and he was touching his pants. So like, I thought in my head, like, why would he be touching his pants? And then I thought about some creep shit, like, well, maybe he's touching himself because there's a girl around. And then um, I looked, and I looked right directly in front of him, about five feet in front of him. And there was a, a young white lady uh, walking down the street and she had a certain step to her, a certain tone to her step. She was walking pretty fast. And when I did another double take at the gentleman, he was still touching himself and he was walking um, at her pace, at the same pace right behind her, uh, about five feet behind her, um, just walking. And um, it looked like he was waiting for her to turn around. So if she, if she turned around, she would just, um, he would just like look away and it wouldn't be a big deal, right? And um, instantly I triggered something, something triggered in my mind. So I said, yo, I screamed out the window on my right side of this truck right here. I'm like, yo. And the guy didn't turn and nor did the female. And I said, damn, I was like, the female can't hear me. And the guy's just not paying attention one or the other because you know he was just looking straight. So I pulled over instantly. Like, just my gut feeling, man. Gut feeling. I pulled over. I jumped out the car. I jumped out this car right here. I left the car on. Jumped out. And I started jogging down the street because, like I said, this white girl was walking pretty fast. Honestly, she, was, she, had a, she had a, she's walking, you know? <clears throat> so I started jogging. And as I'm jogging, I see the guy literally following her. And his every step that she's taking, he's taking so he's literally behind her like a mirror. So if she looked to the left, she wouldn't see him. If she looked to the right, she wouldn't see him. It's kind of like he's trying to imitate her walk. Follow her far enough where he could possibly do something. And I swear to God, this guy was onto, onto some shit, man. He was onto something um, for sure. Um, so I jogged past him, right? As I'm jogging past him, I look at him like, you good? He's like, oh yeah, he like he he mumbles something out of his mouth, and instantly his focus changes from he was just staring at this white girl's butt or this white girl whatever he was staring at her. He was focused on her for the last minute or two while I was watching while I was jogging down the street. And once I, I approached him and said, "You good?" I didn't really know what to do. Honestly, my gut was like punch him in the face, man, knock him the fuck out. He's trying to hurt this girl. He's trying to you know, a sexually assault or a rape or whatever the case may be, knock him the fuck out. But the issue with that was that technically he's just following behind her. Yeah, he was touching himself, but he wasn't exposed. So it was kind of like, do I teach him a lesson that's only going to get me in trouble for this girl not knowing if he did anything wrong? Or let me just let this girl know to be aware of her surroundings because she has a gentleman that's following her. So Instantly, I ended up taking like a little, a little bit more steps, a couple more steps, and jog, and I tapped the girl on her shoulder, you know, with like two fingers, boom, and she jumps. She's like, "Oh," and I said, "Watch out for him." And she looks at me, looks at him, and she nods her head, but she had ear, AirPods on, so I'm like, "Oh man!" Like, and I knew it. Was, she was probably feeling like I was trying to do something, you know what I mean? Like, she, I'm pretty sure she had that gut feeling that the guy was following her. And I think when I touched her, it kind of was like, oh, it's him. You know, she didn't know what to do at the moment. And honestly to God, honest to God, y'all, 
I'm happy it was mean. Um, that guy was literally, he was going to try and do something to a 100%. That's just my gut feeling. And uh, I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. The main reason for my story is that I'm pretty sure this girl got off the train and this guy was already on the train with her. And he, he proceeded to follow her after he already found what he liked, you know, and, and or maybe it's just the neighborhood. Maybe he knew that if you get off at Hughes, it was Hughes Street on the J train, right? Or Broadway on the, um, the G train, right? That's where it was at. So it was one or the other. I guess he figured he knew that whatever train stop, like whatever train stop a, a girl gets off at, that's the girl that he's going to try to kind of mess with or whatever. But the thing is that there's not a lot of spike and or not, not that I know of, honestly, uh, in rape or in sexual assaults in that Williamsburg area. And if it is, then I definitely know the guy, man. I can pinpoint this guy, um, you know, and it just... It just sucks, bro. It really does because, you know, I'm looking at this man and I'm, and I would think that he would need some help, you know, and of course he definitely needs mental help, but, you know, on help as far as helping the world, you know, obviously he doesn't have, uh, you know, he doesn't have a job. I, I can't even say uh, obviously, but it sucks when I'm going to tell you a person, I want to go out there and I want to try to help. So if somebody needs help, you help them. But then it's like, when you see something like that, it's like, you don't deserve nothing, man. You really don't deserve anything. So... The whole, my whole goal of this particular story time was to tell young ladies, you know, be aware of your surroundings, you know, put the headphones down, you know, take out one ear part if you got to, uh, pay attention, man. I know that walk from home, from the train to home is, is probably a quick five to ten minutes, but we don't want it to be a last five or ten minutes. I sure don't. Um, I have a lot of uh, female family members. And I would hate for this to happen to, and I hope they're watching. Just pay attention to your surroundings, man. Not that, not that you can't fight, or not that you can't get yourself out of a situation like that. But it's just, if she was watching him, if she was slightly more attentive to her surroundings, she would have noticed him a block before I noticed him. And that's the crazy thing that he followed her for a block, and I watched him follow her for a block. So don't say it wasn't there, right? And if she would have just turned around maybe once or twice, changed her direction, changed her her placing on the block, paid attention to the people that was around her, even took a stopped, she could have stopped, looked around, got on the phone, tried to make a fake fake phone call or or Google something or reroute back to the train station just real quick or whatever. She would have just made a U-turn. She would have instantly saw that he would have made a U-turn with her, and would have been a uh, she would have. She would have been golden. She would have known for sure. Um, but again, pay attention, ladies. It's not about being tough or where you're at or the type of skin tone or who you are. You know, it can happen to anybody. These these guys that are out here, they have a, a particular problem and they don't care who the person is. You know, um, it, it just sucks. You know, I you know it definitely would have been uh, a negative story in the paper, and I'm glad I was there to even even kind of kind of stop it for whatever reason um and that guy really deserves to get his ass kicked and i wish you know honestly i don't i don't wish because i'm happy that nothing happened but i i would have liked to have been able to jump out of my car when the guy was trying to grab her like if he would have tried to attempt to grab her or something like that because that would have gave me all rights to kick his ass and it would have been all justified and I kind of wish that would have happened in a way, but I'm happy that it happened the way it, it did. Where, like I said, hopefully that girl is very more observant to her surroundings. Sorry, observant to her surroundings, and um, she just pays attention that much more. So, um, again, you know, thanks for watching, ladies. Pay attention, watch your surroundings, man. I, I hope, I hope, I hope this doesn't happen to anybody, man. I never pray, pray for that. Take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate y'all.